Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Riverboat, which is a game about, you've guessed it, farming. But riverboats are involved, I promise. This is a game where we are trying to get various crops onto our board here, ship them off on riverboats and get points and all of the good stuff. So I'm playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. He is being his own surveyor here. I have just a little yellow meeple because I haven't got a little glass me. But we play this game over a course of four rounds. At the start of a round, we have to draft these round tiles. Now these are basically going to determine, the, per the person with the round tile is going to get a special bonus at the start of that particular phase of the round, and they are also going to be the first player in that round. Now in a two-player game, there are five tiles, so one person is going to end up with three, the first player, and the other one is going to end up with two. So since I have the wheel here, I am the first player, I am going to pick this one here, because this is going to give me an extra worker that's going to give me a bit more flexibility as the game goes on that we'll see. So I put that there, that is the one that I want. Marty is going to go for this one, this is the last phase of the round, but it gives him options here, he can take coins, or move his surveyor, which can be important later on, or get people out onto the main board there. We'll see all of this as it goes on. It kind of, yeah, it doesn't really make sense at the start, does it, that uh, we're going for these bonuses. But uh, yeah, I am gonna take the one for round two because it's gonna get me a coin. Coins are points at the end of the game, and they can be used to enhance your actions in different ways later on as well. Marty is gonna take the round three, so he can absolutely move his surveyor. Maybe he will move him twice. And so that means I am taking the round four one. So now, we just go through the phases one by one. So first of all, we have cultivation. First of all, the round bonus happens, so I get a new worker here. There's a new worker available each round. We start with 13, which sounds like a lot, but you will see they will end up locked on the board. So now in the main phase of the cultivation, we draw eight of these cards one by one, and for each one that we draw, so this one here, shows basically a colour of terrain. Also, it's got a little uh, symbol to help you identify it, you know, for colourblind and all of that. So I can put a worker out here in this white area. And the reason I'm doing this is because in the next phase, I can start removing workers and replacing them with tiles here, the crop tiles, if I have certain shapes. So if I have three workers set out like this, I can take one of the big triple ones, which gets me more crops out in one big go, gets me points when I take it. So I want to try and arrange them in such a way that uh, you can't really know what's going to come out, but you know, I can kind of hedge my bets. Like if I, if I put my first one here, then that is touching, you know, two other colors. So I've got a good chance of making a triple, you know, that kind of thing. So I think that would be a good idea. Now, Marty's board is completely different to mine. He has his white section right in the middle here. There are bonuses later on as well for you want to try and cover up all of the spaces of one particular color, so you might want to think about that later. So I think Marty's going to have a similar idea, but that means he needs to start in the middle. We can, of course, pay a coin as well, and this lets us disregard what's on the card and put a worker exactly where we want one. So the second card is stars, the gray area here. So I think I'm going to keep up with my strategy of trying to, because you might want to string off them as well. You, there's lots of different reasons you, that you'd want particular shapes as the game goes on. But in this starting stage, there's not as much to think about. So Marty's going to put his there to try and uh, fulfill his plan. That's why he put it here next to the other colors. Number three, we are going to diamond, which, so I've got a choice now. I can follow on from this one. I can follow on from this one. But uh, yeah, let's go in the middle over here. Marty's gonna try and group them up a little bit. Next, same again. So I think this time, yeah, let's have one there and I've made some little twos that could be okay. Marty, he will just, he'll just carry on from where he started there. He's in the same position. And number five now, this is a wild card basically. You can put it anywhere, it's as if we've paid a coin. I think I'm going to choose to go on the heart here, on the br on the dark brown. Marty is going to choose to go on the grey here, on the star. So he's made his triple as well. We're doing similar things, but you know, in uh, in different places based on our configurations. So that's five, six. We've got clubs, which is new for me, but I'm going to continue from my existing ones, and Marty can actually do the same. So he's going to just carry on from there. Number seven, clubs again. So. I think we're both doing a similar thing here. 
and just, well, Marty now can put these how he likes. He can have a three and a two next to each other. I've kind of gone off on a bit of a different shape. And finally, we have another wild card. Go where you please. So I think I am going to have one there. I'm going to try and take two threes, I think. And for Marty, he can make a nice little pyramid there. I don't know if that helps him in the game itself, but it will certainly be nice. He's going to plop it there. So that is the cultivation phase. We have drawn eight cards. And later on, obviously, these might still be on the board if we haven't uh, managed to get tiles for them. And so you might not get to place eight if you're not smart about how you uh, take them off later. So phase one is now done. We move on to the planting phase. So I have the tile again. So I get a coin because that's the bonus of phase two. And one by one now, we can start drafting these crop tiles. You need to have people in those shapes, but now the color of the terrain and everything doesn't matter. It doesn't correspond to the color of the crops or anything like that. I think I would like these potatoes and a pumpkin because as I said before, you get two points just for taking that tile and your workers stay there. You need to actually, you know, they're, they're cultivating the crops now. They are, you know, they're, they're planting, aren't they? We've done the cultivating. Uh, so I score myself two points. And now you do want like, like goods in this. So I don't think Marty wants to let me have another identical one. So I've got a load of potatoes right next to each other. He is gonna take that one away from me and put it in his board there. And that means he's also keeping up and he has two points as well. There is a double potato there, so I'm gonna grab that and put it off to the side here. And I score myself one more point. And there isn't a double potato left for Marty, but he could grab his, uh, his other three that he's got. So he's already got one pumpkin out. Let's grab this one, it's got two more pumpkins on it. And he can place that there where his workers are. And they stay on there until the you know the crops are sent away on the riverboats so and you don't have to take threes or anything you know you can do whatever you want with uh, with these shapes so i could take the last one here it's uh, it's two new types of good though and you do want you know like things for shipping them off later now there is a special thing that i could do which i think i'm going to do now you can pay a coin and you can basically look through the stack of one or two tiles and choose what you want and there is, a, there is a, the player aid cards to tell you exactly what is in here, how many of each thing are in there if you need that one. But I know that there's going to be one that's just pumpkin. So I'm going to pay my coin. So that's a point I've paid. But I'm going to go through this stack now and grab the double pumpkin. And you shuffle the stack after, of course. But I have now got myself two more pumpkins there. And another point. So neck and neck again. Marty, he could take a double as his last thing if he wanted to. I think he's gonna do that. He is going to grab this corn and a pumpkin and put it over here. Oh, I still have one worker in an empty field. So I wanna grab something from over here. Yeah, let's just get another potato. There we go, put that there. And we are done for the planting phase. You carry on until nobody has got workers on empty spaces. So now we have the harvesting and shipping phase. Marty gets to move his Harbour Master up one space uh, because that's the bonus of this phase. And this is going to affect, we will end up with, you know, all of these riverboats that are up here, we will end up with them on the top of our boards, depending on how much, uh, how many different ships we use to send our goods away. And they will score points, but only if the Harbour Master has reached, you know, the point at which he sees the boat. So Marty is on just the two spot for now. So now starting with Marty, because he has the tile, you take groups of your workers that are all on the same type of good, and then you can take an available riverboat. A riverboat's only available if it's down here, not from the general stacks. You can pay a coin if your particular boat isn't there to get another one off the stacks instead. Once you have shipped nine of a certain good, you will get a bonus building. And we'll see what they do pretty soon, I think, because somebody might get one. So Marty has got, and it's all, it's all about, do you want to wait for, you know, more goods of a certain type and then you will be able to get the bigger ships which will get you perhaps better bonuses depending on your situation and certainly will be worth more points at the end of the game but then you have to wait and your workers stay on here and you're going to run out and not be able to put eight out in the cultivation phase and all sorts goes wrong so marty is going to do 
I think he is just going to do his potatoes right now. He's got two potatoes, so he can take two workers back. He's shipping both of these, and he can take one of the two ships. So he's got a choice. Does he want one point, and he gets to move his harbour master twice, or does he want two points, and he gets to move his harbour master once? I think he is going to take the one point, but move his harbour master twice. So one, two, and he's going to get one point as well. And now those potatoes have been shipped and everything's fine. I think I am going to ship my potatoes too, but I have got five. And I don't have to do the five, obviously. I could choose a smaller riverboat. Maybe I would be forced to choose a smaller riverboat in a different situation and not do them all in one go, but I'm doing them all right now. And I'm gonna grab the five ship. And this gets me a surveyor. We will see these very shortly, but they are how you score certain things later on. You'll get cards and stuff that give you criteria for scoring, but you need surveyors to spend to actually get them to score your points. I can also send one of my workers to New Orleans, and he goes out here into my little uh, cutout of the main board. But, you know, that, that will count for things later on. You know, there's big points available for having the most workers out here at the end of the game. But, of course, now in the first round, I'm a worker down. It's not so bad for me because thanks to the bonus of round one, I'm one worker up. But, yeah, if I send too many away, it's going to start hindering me. Luckily for the next cultivation phase, I took five workers back. So even if I didn't do the pumpkins yet, I've got plenty to be working with. And whilst he's got four pumpkins here, he is going to ship three of them. Because he doesn't quite want this. All the four gets you is a barn, which will be nice later. We'll see them later, I'm sure. But for now, I think he just wants points and to keep his harbour master moving. So he is going to move in one space. He's almost reached the point where he can see that ship and it'll score at the end of the game. But he also gets three points right now. And finally, I have three pumpkins. Well, maybe not finally. Maybe Marty's shipping more. You don't know. Uh, I'm going to ship the three pumpkins now. I'm not going to wait. Now, I can pay a coin and get the one that Marty had. But I think I'm just going to take the other one and save my coin. Put that up there. And I get three points. So catching up a bit and I get another coin. So I've got a lot of freedom to change the rules about a bit as well if I want to in the future. And whilst he can ship just one thing and take the one ship, which isn't great, it gets you a coin, doesn't get you any points, but it does let you move your Harbour Master three. Also on the downside though, you've got a ship here that's not scoring as much at the end of the game. That's, you know, the earlier ships along are more likely to be seen by the Harbour Master. So I don't think he's going to ship anything else for now. He's going to save for future rounds. So that's the end of phase three. Phase four is the opportunity phase. So since I have the tile, I immediately get a point. So I've caught up. Now we have the opportunity to take an opportunity card each, starting with me because I have the phase tile. These are cards that we get that in the fifth phase, we can score things. And these are basically five points for every barn you have up to a maximum of 15 five points and two harbour master movements that's just what that gets two points for every three tile uh three size tile that you've got on your board i lost words then and this one's seven points and one harbour master movement there's also a bonus associated with that's on the board that's you know depends on where the cards came out so two harbour master movements a new surveyor uh, send someone to new orleans and a coin and we're not scoring these right now uh, necessarily uh, they might be much later on, you know, you could take this now and then save it until you've got loads of bonds. But you don't want to waste, you know, you, I'll just uh, sneak a peek into the fifth phase. You can only score two things per round, three in the final round. So you don't really want to waste opportunities and uh, save things for too long because you're not going to be able to activate them as much. I am just going to take the one that gets me seven points and a Harbour Master movement. You can also spend the coin to, if you really don't like any of these, you can spend a coin and draw from the top of the deck, but you have to take that one and you don't get a bonus. So I think Marty is going to grab, yeah, he wants to kind of wait for that one, but he doesn't want to not score anything this round. I think he's going to have the five points and two Harbour Master, and that gets him another Surveyor. Because, you know, you need surveyors as well. That's, a, that's another thing. Not only do you want to keep scoring things, you can only score a certain amount. You need surveyors to even be able to score them. So that was phase four. And finally, we have phase five. So does Marty want, as his bonus, a coin, a harbour master movement, or 
does he want to send someone to New Orleans? I think let's really go for Harbour Master movement with Marty. He's going to have another one there. And so now we get to score the things. And, you know, it's not just the cards that we just got. If we had placed wells or bonds, you can use surveyors to score them as well. We haven't got them yet. Uh, and then you also score for the number of surveyors that are out. You get a point for every surveyor that you've already placed and a point for everyone that you sent to New Orleans. So maybe Marty should have sent someone to New Orleans. But we'll stick with what we've got for now. So Marty is going to place his surveyor on his opportunity card. He's going to get five points and move his Harbour Master two. So now this ship is going to score at the end of the game. And he also grabs himself five points. For me, similar things happening. My Harbour Master takes his first step out and I get seven points. And I probably do want to start working on my Harbour Master because I've got better ships than Marty that are going to score more. So now we score a point for every surveyor we've got out. We've got one each. And then a point for everyone we sent to New Orleans. I get another point there. And that is the end of the first round. So now to set up the new round, we fill in the gaps in the crop tiles. We get four brand new opportunity cards. We get rid of all of the ones from the previous round that didn't get taken. And Marty's going to be the first player and get first pick of the phase tiles that all go back to the middle now. I think Marty wants first pick of the crops, so he's going to grab the second phase one. I want another worker. I'd be quite happy with that. I think Marty also wants first pick of the opportunity cards. I would like first pick of the ships. And that means Marty is going to get his choice of a nice bonus in phase five. So let's get started. Phase one again, I get the magical new worker. And we want eight cultivation cards. So, first one on spades. And there is something to think about here. Now, there's an opportunity card out here that gets you a point for everything that you've got in uh, on the edge of the board. Up to a maximum of 15, so it might not be one to score for quite a while. This one is score two of your best ships, add them together to a maximum of 14. That's So anyway, let's build off this one and go in that corner there. Marty for spades, he's going to go over there. Let's see, what else have we got? We've got diamonds. So I'm going to go... Let's carry on on the edge. Maybe I will get the edge one. Uh, Marty for diamonds. I think he's going to try and make a nice little three in the corner there. Hearts. I'm going to build off this one here. Marty for hearts is in the middle of nowhere, really. So he could pay and go over here instead. But I think he's just going to put it down there for now. Next is clubs. I, I could go on the edge again. I could build off and still just go on the edge. Yeah, let's do that. Marty's going to carry on from where his uh, existing worker is. Number five is a wild card. I think I would like a three size one. So I'm going to put it there. I think Marty is going to go like this. He's possibly going to think about doing a barn, I think. Hey, me, I get a star. So I'm not quite linked up to where I was here. Let's go there. Or I could pay. No, let's just go there. Star for Marty is going to be over here. Number seven, heart. And so, yeah, let's link all of these guys up. Marty is going to go like that, so he's got another three shape if he wants it. And finally, we have heart again. So I am going to go like that. Yeah. Marty has to go over here, so yeah, he'll just do that for now. And we are done. So that is phase one over with. Phase two, Marty gets a coin. And we can start drafting these tiles. I'm actually going to change Marty's thing. He didn't want a three shape. He wanted to start doing this. Marty is going to start drafting just single ones for now. He's drafting a potato. I think I'm going to go for a three size tile. I'm going to get some corn. Another pumpkin on there. Because you, know, you, do, you do want nine of something so you can get a nice bonus. So it does, uh, it does help for going for the same thing sometimes. I get two points as well for that. Marty, he is going to grab these while he can before I catch on and maybe I'll start taking some away from him because maybe I'll see what he's doing. 
And I've got another three space. Well, actually, you know, I shouldn't do too many take backs, but I am changing my mind to this. I'm gonna go for corn instead for my previous choice. Doesn't change anything else. Marty wasn't going for that anyway, trust me. And I'm gonna take this other one with corn on it so I can hopefully make a big corn delivery. And I get two more points again. So I'm racing ahead in points, but Marty might be building up to something big. He's gonna grab another single potato. Okay, he is missing out on the points for the bigger tiles. I still have two people off on their own. I could, you know, spitefully try and take the potatoes away, but I am gonna go for my own thing. Hopefully this works out. Maybe it would have been better to try and deny Marty. He is just going, basically, he's gonna keep uh, getting potatoes till there are none left. I am going to grab corn and I'm finished because I took huge tiles. Marty though, took them one at a time. So he's still free to keep doing this. And yeah, this is an exaggeration. You probably wouldn't end up with a big circle of potatoes like this, but for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, that's what he's gone and done. I think then he's gonna grab this because he's already got a pumpkin waiting so he can get another one out. And then he is going to get, oh, he's got one corn already. He could get an onion out. Yeah, he could get an onion on. Let's try and get some of that. I think he's thinking of this card here. There's three points for every uh, type that you've shipped. So that would be one to save for later. Anyway, we are done with the crop getting and it's time for me to be first in a phase. I move my Harbour Master for the bonus and I am going to be shipping. I think I am going to ship my corn. You might notice that I had to readjust it because I had placed it wrong. More take backs. So two, four, six corn are getting shipped here. And I'm going to take the six tile and I can choose a feature of my choice. I can get a surveyor or a well or a barn. I am going to grab myself a well. And I haven't done brilliantly to start this off. You put it on a type of good that you haven't already got a well on. So I'm gonna do crops. When this scores, it's gonna score for the biggest contiguous line of that good. So hopefully I can get more corn in a big, uh, big conga line there. Marty's gonna ship his taters. One, two, three, four, five. And he is going to grab this, get himself a new surveyor. And he gets to send someone off to New Orleans. He's caught up with Mina. Now I've got a potato and an onion left. I could just do a one. I think it's gonna be easy to get a lot more onions, I think, next round. So I'm gonna do potatoes. Now the one ship, as we've seen, just gets you a coin, which can be nice. And three, one, two, three movements. So I'm getting there on this now. I think Marty's gonna ship, maybe he'll do both of his twos actually. He's definitely gonna ship his two pumpkins. So does he want a point and two movement or two points and one movement? I think he'll take two points and one movement for now. He's got a lot of movement, but he's quite behind on the points thing. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna do that. I have already decided I'm not shipping anymore. I'd have to pay a coin because there's no one ship left. Does Marty wanna do the other ship here with the onions? He doesn't have to, he's got a lot of workers spare. Yeah, I think he's gonna save up for bigger and better and trying to get the higher number ships later on. So he's gonna leave it at that. And we are done for round th for, well, for phase three of round two. Marty, now it's all about Marty for the leader bonuses. So he gets to take his thing. He is going to grab this one here because that can be done quite soon. He's shipped, you know, He's only shipped two types at the moment, but he is primed to ship the other three types and he'll score that next round, I think. And for me, I have got five things on the edge of the board, but I want this one because I have some nice ships. This is worth 11 points now. I think I'm just gonna score it right now and save this for the future. I could do both of them, but yeah, I don't wanna spend both of my surveyors and I think they could both, I think this one could be much better off next round. Forgetting bonuses, of course, Marty gets a coin. I do get another surveyor. So maybe I do just score that and take the points off it. That's it anyway for phase four. Phase five, Marty wants, see it's another point, isn't it? If he gets his Harbour Master out, he doesn't want a coin right now. He, yeah, he's gonna move his Harbour Master yet again. So he is getting close to scoring more and more ships. And now for scoring, he is, okay, I knew something had gone wrong somewhere. Uh, Marty actually didn't want to ship the five. 
he wanted to do the four. It doesn't make any difference to me, but this uh, this whole thing was in aid of showing off uh, barns. So I can't really do that unless he gets one. So when you get a barn, which he would have done when he shipped the four potatoes, of course, he, you place it on an empty space on your board. When this scores, it scores as many points as there are, you know, that you see the good that there's the most of around it and get a point for each of those things. So if you thought a bit more about it as well, I could have arranged these so that he could have fully surrounded it, but I didn't. So for Marty scoring, he's scoring his barn. So it's two points for each thing. So he hasn't got the full 12. He's got 10 points for that though, which is quite nice. And then my scoring, I'm gonna do this now. And so I pick my two best ships up to a maximum of 14 points. So 11 for me. Marty's not gonna score anything else just yet. It is only just one for the well. So I'd get four more points. I think I can hang on. I think I can at least get a couple more corn extended to that for next round. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And then a point for every surveyor. We've both got two surveyors out. One, two, one, two. And that could be something to think about. You know, I could have got that out and got an extra point for it for it being out around earlier. We'll see though. And I'm the only person with someone out in New Orleans. So that is it for me. So again, get rid of these. Stock up the ships so that there's one of each type available again. And we stock up the crops board for round three. Okay, I'm the first player, so it's my turn to pick phases. I think I would like to go first on the cards this round. Maybe I want to take this away from Marty because he's got a lot of potatoes. And I'll get the point for having the phase tile as well. Marty, I think... Yeah, he wants pick of crops first again. So he's gonna grab that one. I would like to go first on boats. Marty would like that extra worker. And I get this one. So let's go. Marty has this one, so he is gonna get the bonus worker this round. Hearts, anyway. So I do want corn leading off here, so I think I'm gonna put my first one there. Marty doesn't really care about all of that. Although if he could get a well on potatoes, that's really good, isn't it? That's a great big contiguous line right there. Uh, and there are some single potato things out. So maybe he is gonna go like that. It doesn't score the well anymore. Or he could go to the edge, but the edge thing's already happened. Let's put it closer to the different things there. Maybe you can get a three or a two. Next is clubs. So I am going to, I think I'm gonna pay a coin. Yeah, I'm going to pay a coin and I am going to put mine in hearts again. So hopefully I can fill all of this up and it will be really nice. Marty doesn't mind clubs though. He is going to put that there. Next one, number three, is hearts. So yeah, I would have got hearts anyway, but let's just, let's just put one down. Marty Hearts, he is fine with that. Spades, where is Spades? Down there, there's nothing particularly special about that for me, although we could get, maybe start Onions going here or something, who knows. Spades for Marty, he's made some nice little three shape there. Spades again, I'm just gonna go off like that, Marty. Yeah, maybe he'll, he's close to covering up his clubs and his hearts, but maybe he wants to start spending coins to move them around. Next is diamonds. And that's quite nice for me. Yeah, let's get this one covered in. And Marty. Yeah, we could have another onion coming off here maybe. Yeah, that would be okay. Number seven is clubs. So I don't want, I'm gonna pay a coin again, I think. Let's have, the, let's have everything in this area, I think, for now. So let's do hearts again. Because there's a corn there, if I can link all of these up. I don't know if that's doable. Marty is fine with clubs. He's got a lot of things over here already. Four, four more down there and he's done it. And finally, we have hearts. So, yeah, fine by me again. 
and Marty. Yeah, he'll just keep going around this kind of area, I think. Okay, so that's it for phase one. Phase two, Marty has. So he gets a coin. I think Marty's first one is going to be this double onion. Move one up. Because he wants... He wants a well, basically, to score all of these potatoes, and he wants to get some more potatoes as well. To put a well down, he needs to ship at least six of something, so he's hoping that he's going to be able to do that with onions. I'm going to grab this one here with a potato and a corn on it. I'm going to place it like this. I'm hopefully going to link them up. Marty's going to grab one of these. Not only is it two more onions for him, it's another corn, and he's got one waiting. So he'll place it so it's next to these just in case he wants to do a well or something for onions later. <laughs> he could even link all of these up maybe. And he gets two points for taking that. I am going to take this single corn one here. Marty is going to grab this one I think. Again it's onions and wheat and he's got more onions than he needs now but he could just do the seven. Although that does lose you three workers. But it could be a nice push for him to you know, get in on New Orleans that I have been scoring points off up to now. Still have workers, and this is where you know these things might start to run out. But I am going to pay a coin. I've only got three at the moment. I'm going to pay a coin and I'm going to look for the double corn. Here we go, and I'm going to put that just there. Now, all of this is linked up very nicely. I think Marty's going to get a potato because one more potato next round, and he will have nine. That was Marty's last thing. I'm still going. I could try and get more onions. I could just put onions in those and then I'd have four onions to do. Now I've got six potatoes at the moment. I'm gonna do corn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one more than I need, but it'll be okay, I think. Let's see, I'm gonna take two onions. Marty's all finished, so I can just go in any order I want. I could keep going for onions. Maybe we could get them all around here and get a well, but yeah, let's do that. We could maybe, we could at least get a, uh, yeah, the well would be okay rather than the barn. And <laughs> These workers need to stay on here. Okay, I think we're done there. Phase three, now I'm in charge. My harbour master moves and we are going to ship goods. So I have four onions and four corn. I don't particularly want a four. I think I'm going to ship three of these corn and grab myself this one here. We need to get this harbour master moving more and more. So he moves one step and I get three points. Two, three. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, I do need to do the last one. Two, four, six, eight, nine. No, I am right. Nine corn done now. So when you ship nine of a good, you can take a feature. You can take a well, a barn, or a surveyor. I think I'm going to get a well, actually. Let's put a well on the onions again. Well, not the onions again. And you can put it on a space with a worker on. That's fine. And that's all done. That was my first shipping thing. Marty. Now he wants to get the corn gone. So he's just going to do this here. Three with the corn. He's going to take the one that's available rather than paying a coin. So three points, one, two, three, and a coin. I am going to ship these four here. And let's grab this. It's the one that gets you a barn. I'm going to put it over here. Marty is going to ship two, four, six, seven. He is going to ship his onions. So the biggest one available. He can take a feature of his choice. He's going to take a well and do these potatoes. Oh, he was gonna get some more potatoes, wasn't he, and make this better, but he's changed his mind. He's not doing that anymore. And then he can send three to New Orleans. So he is now in the lead for this, and he's gonna get some more points at the end of the round. He's gonna catch up on the points I have earned this far getting them. Do I wanna ship anything else? I can see Marty's got you know things of one each that he's probably gonna try and ship so he gets the types out. So I think I do wanna ship just one. I'll do... Now, potatoes, hopefully, I'll build up for next round because I can do nine soon. So I'm just going to ship this one corn. 
for here. It is kind of, you know, it's a waste of a space doing this. You know, that's just one point if my guy even gets that far. But it does help him move three spaces and I get a coin. Now Marty's still going to do this. He's going to have to pay a coin now to get access to one of the one boats. But he's going to do it because he gets his coin back. He can move himself three spaces on there, and he's now shipped another type of thing. Oh no, so it's not, not wheat, he's already shipped wheat, he wanted corn. Okay, I think we are done with shipping now, so we move on to number four, which is me in charge. I get a point, and now I get to pick the first one of these. So, I was trying to take potatoes away from Marty, wasn't I? Now I've got seven, that's not a bad number of points. So Marty's just as good at onions, actually, so it may not have been the best uh, thing for me to do. I think I am going to grab this one. Potatoes will be okay for me, and I can send another person out to New Orleans. Well, actually, let's not send another person out to New Orleans, and let's grab this one. I've already got two wells, so it's two-thirds of its points are already done, and I can get a surveyor so I can keep scoring things. I think Marty, he's all about the movement and he's gonna get some more onions later, I think. So two movement there. Yeah, a lot of ships now, but they're all quite small numbers until we get to this seven here. Okay, so that's that done. He's had his movement, so that is phase four. And finally, which bonus would I like? I could send someone off again to New Orleans. I could move my guy one. I'm not as excited about that. I could get a coin. I think let's send someone off. We don't want to fall too behind on this. I want the 20 points. So scoring, I think I'm going to score this well. So that scores a point for each, for the contiguous line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go 48 to 35 at the moment. It's going to score this one, I think, because he's harvested one, two, three, four, five types for three points each. That's the full 15, but he's got no more surveyors left. So he is on 50 now. Now, do I want to score this now or wait for it? I think I want to score this one now. I don't think I'm going to get another one. So 10 more points for me. And I can't score anything else, even though I've got another surveyor. Marty hasn't, uh, hasn't even got the surveyor to be able to do it. So I have got one, two, three, four surveyors out. So I get one, two, three, four points. Marty has got three out, one, two, three. But the opposite is true for New Orleans. I get two points, Marty gets three. And that's it. So again, we restock all of this stuff up and ready for the final round. Okay, so round four, Marty is the first player. He wants, oh, it would be nice. He wants this one because even if he doesn't particularly care about this card, he wants a surveyor. So he's going to take phase four. I would like the chance to send someone to New Orleans. So I'm going to take number five. Marty always wants another half master movement. So he'll take that. And do I want an extra worker or the pick of the tiles first? I think the pick of the tiles and a, and a coin is a point. So I'm going to take that one. Marty gets this one. So let's get right to it. He takes the last worker. So we've got diamond. So Marty... I think he's going to change that. Yeah, he's going to pay a coin. And he's going to change that to heart. So we are thinking about now, you need to you need to fill these up. You want nine of a certain thing. It's your last chance to do all of this stuff. I need to place one as well, don't I? I so we're going to place eight things. And I kind of want them here, don't I? I'm going to pay. I've only, I haven't got many coins compared to Marty. I'm going to pay to go over here because I want to put pumpkins around this barn, don't I, really? So star is the next one. I don't think Marty wants that either, although you don't want to pay all of your points to be moving this stuff around. I think he's going to put it there. He's going to pay a coin again. I am fine with star. That goes there. Next one, star again. So mine's already decided. Marty, is he going to pay? I think he is going to pay. Try and fill these areas up, although, yeah, it's, it depends on the card. It's, it's a risk. Number four, star again. So it's looking good for me being able to finish star. Marty should have probably just left them here. He only wanted to do club because there were fewer left. Okay, he's, he's going to pay, but 
Yeah, he's, he's got enough money to actually pay for that whole thing, but probably wasn't worth it points-wise. Okay, spades next. So, Marty doesn't want spades. This is only number five. It means he would have to pay for all of those three things if they weren't the right kind, though. Yeah, he's he'll just risk this one. I don't want spades. Although, yeah, it's, it's riskier for me to pay. Although we can we can build off the onions here, it's not too bad yet. We'll we, we'll pay if we really need to. Although I can't afford to do all three, so hopefully we get at least a star or a heart coming out. Nope, spades again. So Marty is going to pay for there. I'm going to pay. So we get a star there. Wild card. That's perfect. I yes, yeah, so it's a gamble either way, isn't it? What which card's going to come out next? I will just fill up star for now. Marty is happy about that. He's in the same situation. He is going to just do heart. And what comes out for the last card? It is diamond, which is not what I wanted, but I am going to pay so that I can put one there. And Marty's not happy about that either, but he is going to pay as well. So we're both, uh, we're both going to fill up two areas. Okay, on to phase two then. That's me. I get a coin now, which is good because I have wasted all of mine. So I want, so we've done corn, haven't we? We want potatoes, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want two potatoes. I want pumpkins around here, really. I think I'm gonna grab a potato. Does it particularly matter where it goes? I don't think. It can go off here on its own where it doesn't really affect anything. Cause I could put a two there, I suppose. Marty also wants potatoes though, but he wants onions as well. So this one is quite nice. Yeah, he doesn't particularly mind where things go. He hasn't got a barn to worry about. He's got this well. So connecting the potato up would be a good idea. And he gets two points for putting that out. I think I'm going to grab an onion here so I can make this a little bit longer. Marty can't actually do two potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he can. Yeah, he's going to have to take this one. that there and he gets a point for doing that what do I need I don't think I can make nine of anything else this this time around anyway these onions aren't connected up so I don't need to worry about that I want pumpkins here don't I so pumpkin there we go I think Marty is going to take a wheat over there because he's got wheat to ship he's got two already so he might as well have another one I'm gonna grab this pumpkin here Marty is going to pay to go through the stack of singles. And, well, I'm going to do it in a minute anyway, so uh, I'll get mine ready. Marty's going to buy a potato, so he gets his ninth. There we go, and it's connected to this one, so it all works out. And mine, I'm paying to get a pumpkin, aren't I, there? So it's basically paying a point to get two. So, okay, Marty is finished. No, he isn't. He's got one more that he can get. Uh, he might as well just get another corn to ship more of it. I maybe didn't even need to pay for that pumpkin. Oh, I did because I wanted it down there, didn't I? Yeah. So I could get more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, if only I had more coins. Or I'd put these in a three shape. But I wanted to fill this up, didn't I? Anyway. Now we could get a corn here. And then let's just do this double here for the point more than anything else. One point, there we go. And we are done with phase two. Phase three, Marty gets to move his harbour master. And, <laughs> this isn't, this, there was no more to that sentence. He is going to, before they run out, one, two, three, four. Actually, this one isn't gonna run out, is it? But you want your harbour master to try and reach it. Oh, I haven't refreshed the boat, how terrible of me. Marty is nabbing the five anyway. Here we go. So we have to kind of think about, have I thought about the fact that we've only got two spaces for ships left? We've each put ourselves in that situation. He gets a surveyor, which is what he really needed. And he sends someone away. What's my biggest group? One, two, three for pumpkins. Yeah, that's not getting me a surveyor. Anyway, I will do it because there's probably going to be competition over these smaller numbers. 
I would like at the moment, because there is a competition, you know, for who's moved their guy the most. So, two, three, it's a bit late for me to be getting in on it now, but I'm going to try. He's only got one ship and he wants the... He wants the onions to be harvested, so he's just going to do a two. Okay, one point now, two movement here. So he's on 60. Oh, we're supposed to flip these around to show that we've gone around. It's a nice little scoring thing. And yes, he's done this, so he is going to take himself a surveyor. Okay, I think I've counted wrong. <laughs> I thought I had nine potatoes, but I've actually got eight, which isn't enough. So I can only really ship two of anything at the moment that's the most i can ship so let's just do it let's just ship the corn it doesn't really matter what i do on that one so i get two points i might have really messed up doing that harvest master moves again and that is phase three i believe phase four marty gets a point and he can take a card so he's going to try and get another surveyor maybe he wants this but then he doesn't need the surveyor because he hasn't got anything to score although that's still worth He's got one of each, so it's still worth six points. So I think that's the thing to get. So he gets himself a surveyor. I think because of the potato error, I've left myself very short on surveyors. I have all got everything scored so far though. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten is the best here. Is there anything that will score me more than ten? Five and send two people out. And I would get another out. And my harbor master would move twice. I think this scores me more than ten because I can get majority in New Orleans for taking this. Okay, so that's phase four, phase five, finally for me, I'm gonna send an agent off. And then for my scoring, see this is what I mean about <laughs> planning badly. You can score three in the final round and I am only doing one. I'm gonna need five points, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm sending two more out. So now I'm in the lead and I'm gonna get uh, the 10 points as well as the five from this. And deny Marty the points. You know, you know what I mean. So Marty's scoring. He is gonna score this over here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potatoes. So he gets nine points for that. I'm done with scoring, unfortunately. Marty is gonna score his onions. He's got two, four, six, eight, nine harvested onions. And then finally, he's going to do this one, which is just six points, but it's better than no points. Okay, then we score surveyors. For me, that is one, two, three, four, five. For Marty, that is four, five, six. Agents. Oh, it's just the opposite again, though. Marty gets four, I get five. So we're in the same position again. So we now move on to the final scoring. So it's a point for each coin. Nobody's got any coins. Points for covered hexes, we both managed to do two. Yeah, there were different ones, but we both managed to do two. So 14, and that should be Marty's 100. 14. And unscored things, I'll make a couple of points back on this because I've got two unscored features. So that's four points. One, two, three, four. Now, harbour scoring, this could be where Marty really flies ahead of me. Because the, the person who is in the lead on the harbour track, Marty has 18, I'm only at 13 because I didn't concentrate enough on it. Marty gets full points for all of the ships that his harbour master can see. So his harbour master hasn't quite reached this one yet, but that is still 10, 12, 16, 19, 21. Mine, not only has he not moved very far, I only get half points. So 7, 10, 15, and it's rounded up, so 8 points for me there. I should have my 100 on, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm miles behind now. And then for agents, the scoring doesn't change for two players. Unfortunately, I do, I do normally like it, you know, when it's uh, first and third or something for two players, or there's a dummy player to beat. But anyway, uh, this is 20 points for me, 10 points for Marty. So 31 for me, but then Marty gets his 10. So final scores, 140 to 131. So that is Riverboat. I hope that gives you a good idea of how the game's played and whether you would like to play it yourself. Uh, if you'd like to know what I think, then you can click the link somewhere in this area here. But thanks very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.